Akhvan Hovsepian, the former Prosecutor General of Armenia and former head of the Investigative Committee, has been arrested and charged with money laundering, bribery and property theft. The Special Investigative Service announced in a statement that sufficient evidence has been obtained in the criminal case currently underway, in which Hovsepian stands accused of money laundering around $2.4 million. On top of this, Hovsepian stands accused of accepting a bribe worth $385,000, as well as committing large-scale property theft worth around $1.6 million. Hovsepian served as Armenia's Prosecutor General from 2004 to 2013. In addition, Hovsepian served as the Chairman of the Investigative Committee from July 2014 to June 2018, shortly after the 2018 revolution. And the commander of the Russian peacekeeping contingent in Nagorno-Karabakh, Lieutenant General Rustam Muradov, who was appointed to this new post after the end of the 2020 war, has completed his mission in what will be a rotating position. On September 6, Armenian Defense Minister Arshak Garabetyan received General Muradov and thanked him for his efforts in maintaining peace in Nagorno-Karabakh. And from September 15th to December 15th, a new three-month-long training camp for army reservists will commence with the first group of reservists to be called to service in a little over a week. The Defense Ministry said in a statement that if necessary, the reservists in training can be involved in military duties. And the number of tourist arrivals to Armenia has decreased by 22% between January and July 2021, compared to the same period in 2020. According to the National Statistical Committee, between January and June 2020, 307,000 people arrived in Armenia, compared to 239,000 in the same period of 2021. The number of people leaving Armenia as tourists also decreased by 58%. In the first half of 2020, 274 4,000 people left Armenia, compared to 115,000 in the same period of 2020. And the National Statistical Committee has furthermore announced that in the first half of this year, Armenia's foreign debt increased by 10.2%. By the end of 2020, foreign debt stood at $6.59 billion. By June 2021, that figure grew to $6.67 billion. And Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has met with the OSCE Minsk Group co-chair for Russia, Igor Khovayev. They discussed the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict and its possible settlement, as well as the importance of the OSCE Minsk Group. Khovayev later met with the president of Nagorno-Karabakh, Arai Karutunyan, where they also discussed the negotiation processes. Khovayev moreover met with the foreign minister of Armenia, Arat Mirzoyan, and the foreign minister of Artsakh, David Babayan. And finally, in Nagorno-Karabakh, on September 6th, at around 7.30 p.m., Azerbaijani forces fired in the direction of civilian settlements in Karmishuka and Tagavart. The house of one Tagavart resident was damaged. Six civilians were in the house when the shootings happened. One was a minor. <laughs>